with our Mission Rocks traces, another way of actually baiting them up is using langoustine and chocker or crayfish and chocker. Um, doesn't really make a difference. I'm just going to show you how we rig it up as far as the baiting goes. If you want to see the trace that I've made up, just go to our previous episodes of Mission Rocks traces and you will see the trace, how to make the trace. Okay, what we're going to do first of all, again, we've got our lango. So the easiest way to deshell a lango is to actually take it and squeeze quite hard on either side of it. What it does is it actually breaks the backbone. So again, put your fingers there like that and squeeze. You break the backbone. There we go, shell broken. You can use, like I say, our mustard scissors if you want. Makes life easier for you and just cut down the, the actual backbone itself. Instead of hurting your, your fingers, I'm just going to quickly do that. Okay, and then we just deshell it. The nice part about that is you've already pre cut the back of the lango if you do it with the, the mustard scissors. So basically, that's all we do. Just taking them out, open up, open up, open up, and deshell the langoustine like that. There we go. And one more. Quick and easy, and before a competition, I recommend that you do all of your langos beforehand. Otherwise, you end up with uh, very sore fingers during a compo, and you rush quite a bit. Okay, we just open it up a little bit more down the backbone, down the back, down the back like that. Lightly hit it with a chocker hammer just to soften up the langoustine, and it also gets a lot of the juices going out in the langoustine itself. Okay. Now that we've got our langer done, we're going to take some chocker and we're going to cut thin threads. That's all I'm doing. Just a couple of legs like that. Okay. One, two, three, four legs. Okay. Now, this is the, the trace made up. And like I said before, you can just go view it on our previous episodes of Traces for Mission Rocks. Um, that one's got the flotation, it's going to float it up. This has got the glow bead at the bottom. Very simply, what we do, <clears throat> take the thick one, which is this one over here, and we just split the legs open ever so slightly so that you're getting two tentacles on either side of your chocker. One that side. One this side, like that. We do nothing else other than go straight through it. That's all we're doing. Nothing fancy about that. We take a nice big chunk of langoustine over there. Our thin kingfisher latex cotton, and we just lightly wrap it around our hair curler. Dangle, like that. Take another one on the other side. And we put a lot of cotton around this now. And we literally cover the whole dangle as you can see. That's it there, done. So there's our bottom trace already done. Okay. That's got langer on it with chocker. Now the top one, which has got the flotation on it. And again, we're just going to take a piece of chocker like that. Another piece of chocker over there. So we've got two legs on either side. We're then going to take our lango and our thin latex. Around it like so. And only one half of it we're going to put lango. This side of it. 
we're going to take our trucker hammer and with the skin side which is that side facing up we take the hard part of the trucker hammer and we're going to actually hit it it's going to make a lot of noise turn it around and use the thin side of it now the, uh, the smaller teeth side that's actually going to spread out all the actual chocolate. Take a knife. There we go. Now that is very soft, very thin. You can see it's paper thin. And we're literally going to wrap it around. The chocker is going right the way around the actual lango as well as our dangle. It's very soft, very oily. And we just wrap it up with quite a bit of latex cotton there. And that's it. And that is the finished trace. Basically we've got two legs, we've got lango, we've got chocker everywhere. And there is our Mission Rocks trace done with lango.